The basis for your need to be Section 609 certified is the Clean Air Act of 1970. This act of the United States Congress directed the newly formed Environmental Protection Agency, known as the EPA, to write rules and regulations to control the emissions of pollutants from many different sources, including motor vehicles. This act has been revised and amended over the years, and Section 609 is contained in this act. While there are many regulations regarding motor vehicle pollutants, Section 609 deals specifically with MVAC refrigerants and the MVAC systems that use them. Mobile AC system design changes, new service procedures, and equipment have been developed to reduce lifetime refrigerant emissions. The harmful effects of refrigerants on the Earth's atmosphere have been speculated for many years before laws regarding their usage were put into effect. Until the 1990s, the most common refrigerant for both HVAC and MVAC systems was CFC-12, commonly referred to as R-12. The CFC designation stands for chlorofluorocarbon, the type of synthetic chemical this refrigerant was made from. In the 1970s, scientific studies were determining that CFCs had ozone depleting potential, or ODP, which is a measurement of their relative ability to destroy ozone. The ozone layer is a protective shield surrounding the Earth, limiting the amount of harmful UV radiation from the sun. Studies showed that there was a significant hole forming in the ozone layer of the atmosphere, and that CFCs were a contributing factor to the creation and enlarging of this hole. The effects of increased UV radiation are many, and amendments in 1977 to the Clean Air Act sought to address this issue by further studies regarding ozone depletion. Other countries were also studying ozone depletion, and in 1987, many countries, including the United States, signed the Montreal Protocol Agreement. Countries signing the Montreal Protocol Agreement agreed to phase out production and use of ODPs, and in 1990, amendments to the Clean Air Act incorporated the original phase-out date of the year 2000. R12 was given an ODP rating of 1 and needed to be replaced as a refrigerant, and by the 1995 model year, all new standard consumer motor vehicles in the United States were using the refrigerant HFC-134A, also known as R134A. R134A is a hydrofluorocarbon, it is not an ODP, and therefore conformed to the 1987 Montreal Protocol and Clean Air Act standards. However, like R12, R134A has what is known as Global Warming Potential, or GWP. GWP is a measurement of a substance's ability to produce a global warming effect. Global warming has come to the forefront in recent years and relates to the warming of the Earth's atmosphere due to the increase in greenhouse gases, which contribute to trapping heat. Although R134A is not nearly as harmful as R12, neither as it relates to ozone depletion or global warming, it still has a GWP rating of 1,430 versus carbon dioxide, which has a GWP rating of 1. CO2 is naturally occurring and is produced during exhalation of humans and other animals. CO2 is absorbed by plants, which in turn expel oxygen. This natural cycle of CO2 and O2 exchange is what scientists believe has become unbalanced by the additional amounts of man-made substances with GWP. The GWP issue was addressed in 2016 by an official amendment to the Montreal Protocol. This amendment sought the phase out of many GWP substances, including HFCs, over a 30-year time period. Once again, the automotive industry saw these changes coming and sought a replacement for R134A. The replacement is HFO1234YF, also known as R1234YF. R1234YF is a hydrofluoroolefin and has a very low GWP rating of 4. Now that we have covered a brief history of why the rules and regulations regarding the types of refrigerants used in MVAC systems came about, let's now look at the different MVAC system components, service connections, and how they have evolved over time to deal with the changing regulations.